Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is the pathology video on cardiovascular pathology and the topic is hypertensive heart disease. The presenter is Dr. CSBR Prasad, Professor of Pathology, Sri Devra Jaras Medical College. Hello students, we are going to deal with hypertensive heart diseases. Um, before going into that, you should know these terminologies are required questions. Hypertrophy. So in hypertrophy, the individual cell diameter increases. The cell number stays the same in a given tissue. The causes for left ventricular hypertrophy are the, in general, whatever the cause for increased workload on the left ventricle may result in left ventricular hypertrophy. So it may be due to the aortic uh, stenosis or uh, the coactation of aorta or there may be regurgitation of the involved in the mitral wall. So causes for right ventricular hypertrophy, pulmonary arterial hypertension, pulmonary artery stenosis, pulmonary valvular stenosis or it may be due to tricuspid regurgitation. This can cause right ventricular hypertrophy or uh, same you may see in Thaler's uh, tetralogy because there is pulmonary um, all uh, pulmonary arterial stenosis. So complications of systolic hypertension. So it may be associated with uh, the cerebral uh, cerebrovascular accidents or ischemic heart disease, renal complications, or probably sudden death. Name, name some cause for cardiomegaly. Vitamin C deficiency causes causing therapy, or it may be due to what is known as aortic regurgitation, which again causes a, a very big heart or any valvular abnormalities or systemic hypertension and the cardiomyopathies may be responsible for increased size of the heart. So coming to the individual uh, conditions like systemic hypertensive heart disease which is left sided left -sided heart disease. So hypertrophy of the heart is an adaptive response to the pressure overload or workload, increased workload of the left ventricle. And in the course of time, these compensatory changes may ultimately prove to be more adaptive and there may be myocardial dysfunction, mainly in the form of cardiac dilatation, congestive cardiac failure, and or even sudden death. So minimum pathological criteria that, re that are required to diagnose systemic um, hypertensive heart disease are the left ventricular hypertrophy and the pathological evidence of hypertrophy, uh, sorry, pathological evidence of hypertension other organs, especially the kidney. Even mild hypertension for a longer time may be associated with left ventricular hypertrophy. So, so hypertension induces left ventricular hypertrophy. Initially, it is concentric hypertrophy, and uh, left ventricular wall thickening may be more than two centimeters, and there is increased weight of the heart, which may be more than 500 grams. And in addition, there may be left atrial enlargement because of uh, defect in diastolic filling. And microscopically, you will see increased transverse diameter of the cardiac muscle fibers and there is interstitial fibrosis. So this uh, slide represents the normal uh, ventricular chamber, eccentrically hypertrophied ventricle and also concentric hypertrophy um, involving the ventricle. So in the case of uh, concentric hypertrophy, appreciate that the increased thickness of the wall with compromisation of the luminal volume. Whereas in the case of eccentric hypertrophy, the lumen is dilated. Uh, and uh, the thickness of the ventricular wall is also increased. And systemic hypertensive heart disease, most of the patients, if it is compensated, they are asymptomatic, but ECG and echo may show left ventricular hypertrophy. Many patients present with atrial fibrillation and congestive heart, heart failure. Complications, as I was uh, telling earlier, ischemic heart disease, stroke, renal damage, progressive cardiac failure, and uh, effective control, control of hypertension they in, uh, reduce the chances of landing a patient in these complications. And coming to the pulmonary hypertensive heart disease or right sided heart disease, uh, second, mainly called as you know, the uh, core pulmonary, we will see chronic core pulmonary is characterized by right ventricular hypertrophy and uh, right sided heart failure. There is one condition known as acute core pulmonary, which is due to massive pulmonary hypertension. Morphologically, you see acute carpal pulmonary morphic dilatation of the right ventricle, whereas in the case of chronic carpal pulmonary, 
right ventricular hypertrophy, which is equal to or more than one centimeter, and uh, thickening of the moderate band that is very important. And the right ventricle may encroach onto the left ventricle and cause uh, fibrous thickening of tricuspid area, tricuspid wall, and uh, may be associated with tricuspid regurgitation. And uh, acute carpal tunnel uh, diagrammatic representation, deep vein thrombosis going on to uh, the pulmonary artery causing obstruction and infarction. Acute carpal tunnel may be diagnosed by ECG changes, where, which is known as S1. Q3 and T3 pattern. Deep S waves, S waves in uh, lead 1 and lead 3 showing deep Q waves and inverted T waves. So it should be remembered that the pulmonary hypertension most commonly occurs as a complication of left sided heart disease. So these are the causes for uh, uh, the carpal tunnel. And this slide highlights the differences between right ventricular and left ventricular hypertension. And uh, lastly, to leave you, there is a question. Identify the structure that is uh, highlighted with a question mark. So you should identify this and uh, leave your comments in the comment box and uh, we'll get back to you with the right answer. Thank you. The references for most of the pathology lectures are pathology textbooks, mainly including Robbins and Cotran, Pathologic Basis of Disease, and images from online sources.